eBay strikes again. I think I've been sold a pup. I think this is a fake transistor. I bought this transistor from a supplier in Cheshire who was getting very good reviews at the time but has since become very unreliable by the seam of things. He's getting nothing but negative reviews all the time now. And it's supposed to be an STI BU808 DFI. I thought this I thought this wasn't an SD transistor, SD microelectronics, but these hieroglyphics looked like um, Delta Yankee India. And it took me a long time to realise it actually does. If you close your eyes, it says ST in reverse letters. But I still think it's a fake. Um, and I'll tell you why. I suppose this should have been a bit of giveaway, but he wasn't obvious from the picture on uh, on eBay. Um, this is the genuine transistor, which is a DFH, BU808 DFH, line output transistor, um, high voltage um, for small tellies and things. And this is, on the right, is the fake, which... I bought the DFI because it was the closest I could find. I couldn't find the DFH. But you can see the size difference. And um I mean um this one has got so this one's got um cutouts to increase the tracking distance between the pins. So it's a high voltage transistor. This one's got an extra piece of plastic, so it does the same thing. So it looks like a high voltage transistor. And to be fair, the heat sink had got a hole in the right position to mount a big transistor like this. And some of the videos I've seen have got uh, have got big devices um, in in the line output stages. So I wasn't terribly concerned. Now, being a bit wet around the ears, I've never seen devices like these before. Um, so it was all new to me. I have no idea. It's a Power Darlington, it's supposed to be a Power Darlington, and I have no idea about Power Darlingtons, I've never seen them before. Now I knew this device was a Power Darlington with a reverse protection diode. So I expected the voltages to look like this when I uh, tested them on the uh, diode test facility on the meter. I'd expect 1.4 volts from base to emitter. 0.7 volts from collector to base and in the reverse direction 0.7 volts from collector to emitter but what I actually got was this I got 577 millivolts from base to emitter and I thought well it should be 1.4 so maybe it's not a Darlington and next I measured the uh, the collector base junction backwards and I would expect to find 700 millivolts. I got 504. Okay, so 1 milliamp produces 504 through that junction. You'd expect 1 milliamp to produce 504 through these junctions. So it should add up to around about a volt. Not 577 millivolts. What's going on? As you can imagine, I was getting very suspicious now. So I thought, has this thing got a reverse protection diode? So I set up a thing where I got 17 volts through 22K across the protection diode. And I measured 10 volts across the thing. Well, the data sheet says it should be about 2 volts at 5 amps or something like that. 10 volts. If I lowered this voltage, that would go down as well. Um, so this doesn't seem to be a diode. So I, it must be leakage. But, you know, why isn't that at 17 volts? Suggests that this is quite leaky. This uh, this junction in reverse is, is leaky, but it's not a diode. By now I was convinced it was a fake, but I set up a simple HFE test 
um, it was supposed to be at least 60 um, at five point at, at six volts. Um, so I set up a test. It's 220 ohm on the base and a ammeter in the collector, six volts or thereabouts, and I got 450 milliamps. And there was 0.96 volts across the uh, the base emitter, so that meant there were 4.73. Uh, damn it! Let's lock this focus. Yeah, there were 4.73 volts across the 220, which means there must be 21.5 milliamps flowing through the 220 ohms into the base. Therefore, the HFE was the 450 milliamp collector current divided by the 25.5 base current, which gave a gain of 20.9. That should be at least 60 at this current, and um, I mean up to 200, something like that. So clearly, it hadn't got much gain either. Now, things weren't as simple as I thought because. This is the equivalent circuit from the data sheet and it actually has a resistor there and a resistor there and I think this is quite a low value resistor although they don't show the values on the on the data sheet and a diode there so um, the, the readings I took initially bet of, between the collector and the base and the base and here were probably a little bit misled by all this extra gubbins, if it's present, which I suspect is not in this device. Um, but whatever, this device has got to be fake because there's no diode and the HFE is incredibly low. So no matter what the internal circuit, the way I've measured the HFE, it should give the right value. And it doesn't. Another thing that concerned me was the leakage. I mean, this is a big device, so I would expect it to leak a bit. Well, I don't know. I mean, do these things leak or don't they? Um, I'm only used to normal transistors and they don't leak as much as this. Um, I was only testing at a low voltage, perhaps 0.2 of a volt, and I was getting like 168k from collector to emitter one way or 142k the other way and the reverse biased uh, collector base junction I was getting 396k reverse biased base emitter I was getting 254k well the data sheet says it should leak no more than 400 microamps at 1400 volts VCE and that equates to about 3.5 mega ohms which is much much bigger than these so what is this? Well, I think it's a reject transistor. I, I can't think of any device that would leak like that. Anyway, I would paid for this device and I got no other use for it, so I thought I'd try it in my telly. I mean, after all, what could I lose? I'd already paid for it. And I couldn't send it back because the supplier was no longer... Uh, doing these things. Well, as I expected, the device popped its clogs. It ceased to be. It is no more. It is an X device. It now reads 14 ohms between the collector and emitter both ways round, so it's a dead one. Uh, it's got no use, except as an ornament. Now, thanks to a knowledgeable chap called Michael Dranfield, who's got a channel on YouTube, I now know, uh, after the fact, that these transistors are um, most likely some other sort of transistor where the, the, um, the surface has been ground off with sandpaper and it's been laser etched. And uh, you, I can actually see the horizontal striations across this device. Um, in certain lights. Um, I can't, the camera doesn't seem to show them up very well, but you can certainly see along this, this right hand edge where the um, 
the sandpaper has, has just taken chunks out of the right end edge of the device. Oh, lost focus. I, because I'm using magnification, I can't even see where my fingers are. There we are, look. See, see all these chunks out of the right hand side of the device. There aren't any chunks out of the left. So it's 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 almost as though it was ground um, in that direction and it knocked chunks off as it was being ground. So that is definitely a fake. That surface has definitely been sanded. I think you can probably see the horizontal sanding on that even without the magnifier. I think if the reputable relay retailers don't stock a device, but eBay is full of them, they are most likely fakes. I certainly won't be buying any of these. I'll buy an alternative device from a proper supplier. Thanks for watching, give me a thumbs up if you like, and I hope you don't get caught out. Bye!